Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, uh, taking a look at Identity, Identity V. Uh, this is, from what I understand, an isometric multiplayer game. Uh, what that means is that you'll have two teams. One team is formed of uh, four players who are the victims, and there versus one player who is sort of like an overpowered hunter. Uh, I heard some good things about this. It's sort of akin to Dead by Daylight for the PC. Um, but this came out for mobile last year and was a little bit interesting to me, so, and it's gotten fairly good reviews. Uh, I was also interested in doing this because it sort of had um, a way to sort of ease new players into the game. So let's start it up and sort of see what happens and see if we can get our hands wrapped around Identity V. Is it Identity V or Identity 5? Um, someone hit me up in the comments below if it's uh, V or 5, because I can never tell with the uh, Roman numerals what it's supposed to be unless it's actually like, like for Final Fantasy VII, you know that 7. But anyway, here we go. Oh, we have to log in, do we? Well, let's... skip this, but at least they say happy gaming, so, yay. My name is Zorpheus, once a novelist, but after losing my memory, I couldn't complete any valuable writing. Now I'm just a private detective with my clients, until I receive a strange request, investigate an infamous estate and find a man's lost daughter. Besides the check, it was the name on the letter that intrigued me. Not Orpheus, but... Enter my name, which is not Orpheus. Uh, yes, I would like to play the game as me. <clears throat> An alias that almost nobody knew but me. Why does Orpheus know my name? Nearly half a day on the road, I have finally arrived at the manor mentioned in the commission letter. Due to the unexpected storm, the dilapidated main house in the huge manor became my first destination. As I entered the main house, I found that most of the rooms inside were in disrepair due to the years of neglect. The rain and cold kept urging me to leave this place until I open the door of the living room. Dun, dun, dun. For somewhere that's been deserted for 10 years, this room's in remarkable condition. And I think I'll stay here for the night. But it's too dark in here. We have the I need to find an alternative light source before the fuel in this lantern runs out. So... There are footsteps on the floor. The floor is very dirty. Can I... Do I have to tap it? I guess they tap the object. Thank God. Candles here still burn. There should be some more on the wall. Can I play the piano? I want Orpheus to play the piano. All right. Not a music lover, I guess. Let's just light some candles. Set the mood. That strange commission letter didn't... Oh. Event records collected. Tap the commission letter. 
dear Mr. Shin Virtuality. That's me. No, no, I want to go back. Anyway, okay, so. Lengthy commission there. Yeah, no kidding. Blurred photo. All right, so we'll keep going. So more candles to be lit. I know this painting. Okay. Light up. I know it's all psychological. These candles really calm the nerves. Paper airplane? Hmm. Something that children usually play with. Sugar from the lamp. Who made it though? Page looks new. Rudimentary folding technique. This is what I can deduce from my initial analysis. The paper used might actually contain some information from which I might find other clues. This looks like a page from a diary. Interesting. The date is from several days ago. The person who wrote this is most likely connected with a missing person. Although I can't write anymore, I still have an uncanny ability to sense the emotions of a text. This is an ability most people do not possess. By reading the text, I can attempt to reconstruct the scene and even find out information about the author. Lies, lies, it's all a lie. Interesting display. Day six, finally. It's about to begin. I hope it's worth it. Someone is out. So stupid, stupid. They don't even know how to spell ruse rules. Thank God I wasn't the first one to try that. Madness. It's pure madness. What on earth is going on? Why did he attack me? I just wanted to go and see my, the poor guy that was eliminated. There's no reason for him to chase me. I didn't do anything wrong. Wait a minute. There's something wrong here. He is attacking everyone, not only me. Lies, lies, it's all a lie. I must find a way out. No one can. No one is safe. Password. What's the password? He can't be saved. Lies, madness, all of it. Very interesting so far. So yeah, it sort of eases you in with a little bit of a story. description mentioned an attic attached to the main house, located some distance away. I think we are still at the manor, but it seems we're some distance from the main house. For now, I need to focus and retrace the steps of our mystery author. Huh. I should probably drink less. Okay. Judging from the content, I guess would be that our author is male, right-handed, of average education. From here onwards, the writing becomes even more wild and illegible. Fear is stripped of his ability to describe his encounter with any logic, as if something was hunting him.
This guy is freaking quick. Run! Find the last cipher mechanism. Subject is assigned a specific number of ciphers. Camera upwards is pulling a tempest to cipher machines. The art style in this is quite cool too. So they have buttons for eyes and string for hair, as if they were bonus characters. Switch and exit the gates. Okay. The diary suddenly stops here. What on earth does that mean? Carnival. Carnival? It reads like something that was written by a lunatic. I really hope that Mr. Reichenbach's daughter is not involved in this. What I really need to do now is find the rest of the diary and find out what's happened here. There should be other clues among these sheets of paper. The black powder seems to be charcoal. Hmm. The answer is probably close by. There happens to be a fireplace here. Like right here. There's charcoal in the fireplace, but no diary. That's not surprising. But something else has attracted my attention. The unburned firewood. The chimney has been sealed off. Seems the owner didn't use the fireplace, and its true purpose remains unclear. There must be some more clues around here. Alright. Alright, so the diary just sort of goes through the stuff if you want to reread or look over your notes. Candlestick is. I think I know why there's an extra candle here. It's firmly attached to the fireplace. It seems to actually be a part of the fireplace. This is pretty important. Stop rotating. About a hundred books that looked almost exactly the same came into focus. 
intuition told me that the page that I was holding in my hand came from one of these books. And it was this simple fact that astounded me. I used to detest bedtime reading when I was a child. Trying to find a diary with a missing page in here is like looking for a needle in a haystack. The search for one specific diary is no longer important. All of these diaries are significant. that these entries were not written by the same person, which means that they were insane or something else happened here that I do not yet understand. Hmm. They've raised more questions than they have answered. It seems I shall have to apply a somewhat archaic method to obtain the information that I need. Straight on me. into profiles based on the information I found. Open the notebook. With my analysis. Okay. It's not possible to recover any more details using analysis of the two. I need more specific characters to explain the profile.
So, quite a bit of survivors. What is that, 18? I think you go and hopefully unlock some more characters through this story mode. The content of a few scattered diaries is connected. I think they're describing the same game. According to this entry, the author describing this game is a doctor. The entry from this doctor is more detailed and complete. I think this would be a good place to begin. Okay, so it's going to go over some character abilities, I guess. Teammates are displayed in the red line. Cipher I can use. Here we go. Where is everyone? Someone on a chair, or maybe they got freed. All right, let's try this again. Oh, 
Work it, nurse, work it. Yikes. Not getting a herpy yet, so the hunter's not near. The ramping of the uh, sound effects is quite. Uh, Well, that worked. Let's find another cipher and get out of here. Is anyone hurt? Does anyone need a nurse? My name is Shinvert. Okay, there's a cipher there. Oh. So the heartbeat tells you how close you are relative to the hunter, which I thought I saw was right over there. See if we can get to it. Run! Nice lens effect. No need to panic, everyone. I'm a doctor. open. I'm out of here. Escaped. Number three, character, Dr. Emily Dever. Dare. Got a new memory. Author of the diary is a doctor. Character was unlocked. Yay! Time to enter the character custom configuration. As for the hunter, I'm still unclear about his role in this game, but he has what I'm looking for. Perhaps it would be better if I try to approach the problem from another person's perspective. And then you, you want to get costumes for your characters. So. Plenty of costumes too, but I know this game has been out for some time. I like that one. more look. Dark side. Oh, I like that one too. Cool. So if you press get. Okay. Is it possible that I can actually um, a little accessories to go with? Okay. Oh, pets. 
<laughs> Interesting. Yeah, lots of stuff to sort of you know, then behave here. Emotes for the character. <gasps> hmm. huh, interesting. Standby motion. Are these like things that your character does while you're in the waiting screen? Interesting. So a lot of stuff to sort of to collect. Okay, and then entries for the characters themselves, I guess. To the bookcase, main case. Okay, so I'm. Hunters need to knock down survivors, okay. Hunters can locate cipher machines to hunt survivors. Blue outline of the ciphers, okay. In the case location of a survivor, find survivors. Back. After they hit survivors, <laughs> follow the trail to give them the old one, two. Dead survivors with two strikes and tie them, tie balloons to them. Uh, okay. Oh no, I gotta touch him. Oh, there seems to be a rocket chair. And then the time to rocket chair. Chair is time is at the game ends. So. Okay. So get rid of all the survivors and then you win as the hunter. Flawless. I flawlessly completed the tutorial. Okay, so I get another. So you can tweet it out to get more clues. Hopefully unlock stuff a little faster. The rules don't apply to the hunter. Hunter has hindered everyone since the beginning, regardless of their actions. But how was it that no one resisted the Hunter? Was it because of the Hunter's strength? Or has everyone simply yielded to the Hunter's dominance? Does the Hunter take pleasure in this game? Or to put it another way, is that the real purpose of this game? It is ironic that the emergence of the Hunter has forced this group of people, who had opposing interests in the beginning, to work together. I need to find out more about the situation. Open a book. And now you get Hunter information. The information on the Hunter is key. I need to know what he wanted to do next. Technique, patterns, disposition, traits, everything. I guess as you play with the hunter and achieve 
your objectives, you unlock more branches. We'll sort of look at that another time. Okay, so Obek is the one of the hunters. Okay, I think we're going to stop there. It's been going for a bit already, but quite like in the game, so uh, maybe next episode we'll pick up and hopefully <clears throat> start at the same place and continue on with uh, uncovering more clues on the hunters and, and victims in Identity V. Uh, so, uh, hope you like the game. Leave a comment if you do. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Yeah!